What's going on? It's trending in story. If it's your first time here and you wanna find new fact that'll definitely make you smarter and the more well informed, make sure to subscribe and active the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. We don't even believe those reality shows where women don't realize they've been carrying a baby for nine months. Now they don't realize it for 60 years. That was the case for Estella Melendez, who got the surprise of her very long life. The woman in question was 91 years old when she made the discovery. Doctors scrambled to figure out how this could even happen. Estella Melendez and her husband, Manuel, lived in the coastal town of La Boca, Chile. During their marriage of 74 years, they went through countless difficulties, but none more difficult than the one Estella faced in 2015. Estella woke one morning to find her husband unresponsive in their bed. Once he was declared deceased, Estella was mortified. She knew her life was about to change drastically, but she never could have guessed how. After the ceremonies and countless prayers with friends and family, Estella went back to her home, now quieter than ever. She reflected on her biggest regret of the last 75 years never having children with Manuel. Losing Manuel reminded Estella of what they'd missed out on, but having a family with that man she loved was the true dream. We suffered tremendously for this reason, recalled Estella to CNN. What was preventing them from conceiving? Doctors were perplexed by Estella's inability to conceive. With no ovulation issues, Estella only ever developed a single tumor much later in life. However, regrets about her infertility were only the beginning for the grieving widow. After Manuel passed, Estella kept to herself. She began to lose her hearing and her mobility, the latter due to a nasty case of arthritis. And then one year after her husband's passing, Estella had an accident. While handling chores, now all by herself, Estella tripped and fell. Thankfully, she was able to get back up on her own, but she knew she'd have to get to the hospital as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, Estella's little coastal town was 40 miles away from the nearest hospital. Being without a car or public transportation, Estella begged for a lift from her friend to Claudia Vicuna Hospital in San Antonio. Her friend agreed and they left without delay. Once they arrived, Estella's friend escorted her into the main building, where she explained her fall. Physicians immediately brought her in for a full body x-ray to ensure there was no internal damage. What they found would soon shock the world. The doctors assumed they were on the hunt for a second tumor considering Estella's previous uterine tumor and stints with cancer. Now they were wondering if the first had really been a tumor at all. What doctors once thought was a tumor was, in fact, a fetus that had been inside of Estella for an astounding 60 years. After wishing for a child for so long, Estella was devastated to hear the news. The doctors informed her that she wasn't the only one. The strange condition is called lithopedian, or as it's more colloquially called, having stone babies. Only 300 cases have been recorded in medical history. The condition has to do with where the baby grows inside the uterus, instead rather outside the uterus. Often a diagnosis of lithopedia means that the baby is developed on the exterior of the uterus. This can cause extreme risks, especially if the baby is absorbed into the mother's body. With Estella, however, something different was happening. If a fetus on the exterior of the uterus has developed too much, it won't be absorbed. Instead, it will turn into hardened calcium carbonate, much like what happens to cartilage as we age. Surgical removal is possible, but in Estella's case, the doctors flat out refused. Estella was too old to undergo an operation, meaning the fetus would have to remain in place. Upon hearing this news, Estella said it would act as a reminder of her husband. She returned to her quiet village, only to find her home flocked with camera crews. Estella's story went international. The Washington Post, ABC, NBC, and CNN rushed in. People from across the globe wanted interviews and photographs. Tabloids wanted to catch the old woman in tears. Her true reaction to the press, however, was quite unusual. Estella recalled the stories of her life with her husband in a calm, collected tone. Every disease, every loss, every hardship was told with a positivity that the news crews hadn't been expecting. This resonated with folks, as one woman somberly recalled. I guess one way of looking at it is they did have a child and she carried it around with her for 60 plus years. And now since they won't remove it, she still has a part of him with her. In fact, it seems Estella's sad story wasn't the only local case. In 2013, an 82 year old woman in Colombia was taken to the emergency room after suffering from pains in her stomach. They performed the same scan as they did with Estella and found a 40 year old fetus in her abdomen. 
Six years later, another case was reported halfway across the world. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.